about a year ago, the Indian Army issued an RFP for the T-70 to T-90 training systems, both for the driver and the gunner. And uh, as you said rightly, CAE was well known the world over for the flight simulation part of it. And we decided that we should go into adjacent markets. And we needed to look at a strong partner within the country also to help us grow that initial initiative. So we thought we should tie up with some of the Indian companies and we looked at some of them and finally we tied up with Tata Advanced Systems Limited and Tata Advanced Systems Limited is the prime for this activity. Right? The requirement is for about 80 simulators right? and uh, currently we have developed jointly with them four simulators, right? one each for the T72 and T90 driver and the T90 gunner and the T90 crew gunner. And these are the four simulators built and offered to the Army currently for okay. trials. Okay. And um, uh, what, uh, how, where do you see this going in the future? Do you think it will be, this is right now, it's only for individual people, right? Right. Uh, uh, the way CAE looks at the market, the way CAE looks at, CAE looks at as a holistic approach to training. What we believe is an equipment is only a part of the entire training procedure because finally the customer needs to be trained in tactical warfare in, and the equipment is just an individual type of a uh, procedure, right? It doesn't help him in his tactical environment. So the, when, when CE builds anything, they look at the future. The way we have built our T70, T90 is connectivity for the future so that can work in an entire network centric warfare concept and that is that's the way we have built our systems for future at the same time making sure that we meet the immediate needs so it's a combination okay so uh, can you also tell us about uh, um, like is there possibility of the systems that you develop in india with data that could be exported to other uh, countries that use russian tanks yeah, I mean, that has been our clear-cut objective. CA India has been outlined as the center of excellence for land systems. And we, along with Tata Advanced Systems, are planning to go around to the world market because we believe the way the tank training systems have been designed, it has a world market. And already actions have gone on in a number of countries which have these tanks. And we hope to see some results in the next fiscal. Okay. okay. So, uh, and can we just talk about CA um, in, in, in general? Can you just tell us uh, what, what are the plans that you have in India? Yeah, CA uh, has been in India for more than, I can say, 30 years, but not, not directly as operations, but through supply of some of their equipments. Okay. Five years ago, CA started a software development center in India, which now houses about 160 engineers. Yeah. About three years ago, they acquired uh, India's leading simulation and technology company, MacMet. Yeah. And uh, in future, we have a lot of plans for uh, the company. And one of some of the initiatives which have already started are uh, initiative with HL, a joint venture with HL, which is called Hatsoft, yes. which is meant to train uh, helicopter pilots both for the military and the civil. Okay. And we have very innovative concepts put in that training center, yeah. which is you know, a roll-on, roll-out concept, which can utilize the facility, the infrastructure with minimal cost, and that's the advantage. At the same time, we decided, we looked at the civil market, and we found that India is growing very fast in the civil market. And we felt that there was a need for pilots to come out, so we had uh, op we have opened um, a training center for pilots that is Avinisha School in Gondia, and that is in partnership with Airport Authority of India. Okay. Similarly, there is another government school in Igrua. Okay. Uh, CAE has taken over the management uh, control of that organization with the explicit understanding that it brings about a change in the way. Uh, the cadets are trained and brought about yeah. and to enhance the number of students which can come out in a particular year. Okay. Besides that, CAE now really is planning uh, to, like I said earlier, to make CAE India the center of excellence 
for land systems so that we can build systems here indigenously and become the export hub because we build, that is our intent and that's how we are progressing and that's part of our strategy. Okay. In order to ensure that our strategy comes along, we have uh, created our own aerospace and defense campus in Bangalore yeah. and which should be operational fully by September, October of this year. And that's, uh, that also shows the intent of CAEs. The CAE has invested, that means it is not a leased operation. Okay. It's CAE's owned operation, right? Okay. So what, what we are trying to say is CAE believes there's a huge future, okay. believes that the training is going to go the integrated training approach. That means people are not going to worry about individual equipment. The people are looking at a total training systems integrated approach. That means they're going to give the job to a company to look after all their training needs and it is their job to provide equipment, training curricula, manage the training, uh, you know, the system, the entire infrastructure. So we are working uh, with now uh, currently the government trying to propose this concept where it could be a multiple models, it could be either government-owned company operated or it could be company-owned company operated and, and we charge them per hour basis. That's the concept because we want to remove the burden of you know, identifying equipment, what is suitable for the training. Their job is to say what sort of training is required and CA being today the world leader in uh, training methodology and technology. So that is a, a, the futuristic plan for us, not very far away, maybe in the next couple of years. Uh, is that pay by the our training uh, for the military as well? Because I don't think they're doing that right now. Yes, they're not doing that uh, just now, but um, things are uh, changing yeah. because um, they believe that the owners should be on a particular service provider, you know, so that their job is to really get into the real you know, area of fighting and leave the training to somebody else. Of course, there are some issues on uh, sensitivity of, uh, you know, data and things like that. And the way we operate is we build the system in a firewall way. Yeah. So whenever they want to operate with their sensitive tactical data, they just put in that system and they operate. So we, we, we provide the infrastructure to them. Yeah. So there are two types of training again, you know, and like you said, has the military gone in? Yes, they will be going in very shortly. I don't want to name the project because the project is uh, coming on very shortly, but they're going on very shortly with this concept. Okay. Pay, pay by the hour. Okay. And that's for the military itself. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the, the fact is, within one and a half years, you'll see the first model of uh, pay by the hour coming in. And the last question, sir, can you just tell me, uh, uh, what market share does CA have globally and in India for simulators? Yeah, uh, we, we divide our market segment into four areas basically. We have the civil products, the military products, the civil training and the military training. So that is the way we have organized. Of course, we got other pillars coming in now, the professional service, the medical and things like that. But today I'm going to only talk about these four areas, right? In the civil products, we control about, I think, 75% of the market. Yeah. In the military products, we control about maybe 20-25% of the market space. In the training services, it's a new field. So we believe we are leaders by far. We have not calculated the market share because that these are two new uh, areas because comp because as you're aware, it's not very easy to set up a training center and manage it because of the investment required. So the number of players are limited. So, so from that perspective, we believe we have got a majority share, but we are, I don't think we have really done any research to find out what really is the, the component of the share. Okay. okay. Thank you very much for coming today, yeah. sir. Thank you, Manu. Thank you so much.